again. Okay. Aloha. Welcome to this episode of Tea of Dao series, and we are on the beautiful island of Hawaii, also known as the Big Island. Thanks to all the blessings, we have been here for the past two weeks, and we're heading home today. Uh, before we wrap up in our beautiful backyard, we would like to share with you some white peony or mudan white tea and tell a little bit uh, more stories about this tea varietal called the white tea. So the whole process of making white tea basically is a controlled drying process. Now that's very different from making green tea because green tea is, as you can recall from last episodes, uh, it's about <clears throat> um, preserving the freshness and the grass taste of the leaves by stopping any oxidation. So we artificially either gonna steam or roast to a certain temperature to kill the enzyme, uh, which is a major medium to interact with, you know, the oxi oxygen in the air to kick off any oxidized process, oxidation process. The white tea is very different. Um, as soon as the leaves are, or buds are being picked, they are entering into a process of drying, either called withering under the sun or in the shade on uh, one layer on the pan of uh, woven bamboo and shifting, you know, with different layers, within different layers uh, in, in the shade uh, or in a uh, room with really good airing to let it dry naturally until making to pancake and package. So uh, that's the most traditional way that we know as making white tea. Uh, we can touch on this a little later today as the, the more, more modern technique of making white tea involve a lot of machinery and automation. However, tracing back to the origin of white tea, um, the first uh, story or historical treaty that we can recall that recorded white tea was from the Song Dynasty. Um, that's uh, almost a thousand years ago when one of the empire, Song Huizong, he mentioned in one of his treaties that he will he prefers white tea to the other tea. However, in that particular story, he was he was referring to a type of green tea that um, tasted elegantly, and the flower, the floral from that tea plant was um, bearing white flowers so he was referring to that white tea that was not actual white tea and actually there is no real cult, you know cultivar or a, a tea plant called the white tea the reason we name it white tea is because i'm going to show you a little bit um since this tea has like very least and minimal interaction was uh, humor in, uh, human intervention. So you can see a lot of the tea buds um, and leaves actually have a lot of uh, white fur that's originally from the plant and after being dried from a distance, they look like kind of wild white and light gray and silver color. And that's where it got this name. So the terroir of white tea is Nowadays, it's only in the Fujian province across straight from Taiwan, a little bit in Taiwan and a little bit in Yunnan province where Puer was from. Um, so the picking time for white tea, early spring and uh, all the way into late spring and also into autumn. So that will have to go back to the topic of the gradation of white tea. There were four grades. In white tea the top grade or grade one is called silver needle okay now why silver needle basically silver needle only contain the first buds from early spring which is uh, late March to early April and in in silver needle tea you will only see the buds and that's very very you know uh, tender and very fresh and definitely take a lot of technique and specialty uh, in this selective picking process and that contribute to 
the pricing of silver needle to be you know extremely high and much higher than the rest of the grades second grade is what we are tasting today called mudan or white peony it usually consi consists of one buds and two or three leaves around the buds now people are going to ask you already talked about silver needle going to consist of buds and white mudan going to consist of the same buds that's a great question. After the first picking of silver needle, we wait about two weeks for the tea plants to revive and replenish, and then we pick again with the buds, new buds, and two or three leaves around it, and that become mudan. That usually happens in middle, uh, in the middle of April or middle springtime. Now the third grade is called gongmei or a tribute eyebrow, <laughs> uh, if you translate, uh, you know, theoretically. So gongmei was, uh, all, it's always picked in autumn from a, um, you know, a special cultivar, and we're going to touch on the cultivar of white tea in a little bit. And uh, the last grade is shoumei, it's usually picked in um, the end of spring after silver needle and mudan or white peony are all picked and we let the plants rest for another two or three weeks and we're gonna pick shoumei which are all leaves no buds at that point it was just big leaves and uh, to me personally i really like to have tea with buds and leaves just like mudan um, 